Ok, now we have Ubuntu 20.04 running on our virtual machine. Finally, we can start to download ROS. Let's open the browser and search ROS download and click on ROS installation. We have two distribution available, Melodic and Nautic. Let's select Nautic. And click on Ubuntu, our platform. The process, you will see, is really straightforward. So let's do it together step by step. First of all, open your terminal. Set up your source list by copying this command and paste on your terminal. Install the curl. Then set up your keys. After that, we are going to kick off the installation process. First update the system to make sure that your Debian package is updated. Then you can see that you can choose three different types of installation, depending on your needs. For what we are going to learn in this course, we are going to download the desktop version in full. This is because we will need to use some powerful tools of 2D and 3D visualization and simulation like RBS and Gazebo. We will have the chance to look for them later on in the upcoming video. So, copy this line on the terminal and press enter. You will see that it is going to use almost 3 GB of the space on your disk. Say yes. Then we need to wait until the process is finished.
Now Rose is installed. So now what next? The Rose installation consists of scripts and executables, which are mostly installed in the folder Uprose Notic. So we need to get access to these commands and script. To do that we should add Rose environment variables to the Ubuntu terminal. Every time that you open a terminal you need to source the Uptrose Notic divided by setup.bash file. So type on your terminal source Uptrose Notic setup.bash. Now the terminal is sourced. To test it, Rose can run on this terminal. And to check it, let's initialize the Rose master. You can start the Rose master by typing on the terminal Rose core. Now the Rose master is running on this terminal. The Rose master is a very important node that allows all the nodes to communicate between each other. We are going to talk more deeply about the Rose master when we will play with Rose in the upcoming videos. For now, you just need to consider that Rose Master is running properly on this terminal, meaning that the Rose Notic has been installed. To kill this process, type Ctrl and V. Now let's open another terminal. If we try to initialize the Rose Master by typing Roscore on the terminal, it says that Roscore is not found. You might be wondering that. Well, because we didn't source the setup bash file that allows you to get access to Rose scripts and executable. To do that, source that file in the folder where it has been installed. Then initialize the Rose master again by typing Rose core. And now you can see that now it's running. So, every time that you are opening a new terminal, you need to source the setup.bash file. While operating Rose, you need to know that you are going to operate with multiple terminals at the same time. This procedure might bother you. So, in order to get the Rose environment in multiple terminals, we should add that command to the bashrc script. This file is a height type and it is in the home folder. Let us copy and paste this command on terminal. And now source the bashrc file. Let's check if the Rose Master is running. Ok, everything is fine. So kill this terminal and open a new one. This time we are going to start the Rose Master. And now it's running. The bashrc script is a file that is executed every time that we open a new terminal. And we have added the line that allows the setup.bash file to be sourced. Last but not least we need to install ROS install that allows us to source trees for particular Rose packages. In particular, it is very useful because it will allow us to download external Rose packages in one command. This tool is based on Python 3, so install Rose install by typing this command. Put your password and wait until this installation is completed. Finally, install Rosdep. Rosdep allows you to easily install the dependencies that you would need when you are building your own packages and ones of others.
After the installation is done, initialize rawstep by typing sudo rawstep in it. Then type rawstep update. 